Hello everybody and welcome back to MJ Games. I am Michael and I am super super excited today as I'm showing you some pictures that were sent to me by Insomniac as a sneak peek into his upcoming part. So there's about 50 plus pictures and each one I put at about 8 to 10 seconds a clip and so we can kind of just go through and kind of look and see at the images that have been presented and first off you can see these first three are of this parking lot and car park and I mean the amount of detail put in there is just insane and I know he released a video um, I believe it was just of that area once he got done with it and I need to go back and look at it because it looks awesome and as you can see now we're kind of merging and I tried to lump the photos together too um, with the ones that kind of corresponded together and stuff and so you can see the kind of hotel or hotels that are a part of this park and I have not seen a picture of an over overhead view of the entire thing other than a couple pictures like this but I don't know how from everything I've seen I don't know how this is fit on a PS5 because this looks like a true highly detailed mega park that contains four or five coasters potentially or four or five different areas and as you can see here just with the because that's already a different hotel so we got a couple hotels in the in the park and just looks absolutely beautiful there's really not much else to say just can't wait to actually walk around this park myself and i believe insomniac will be releasing it in about two to three weeks so uh, make sure to go check out his channel so you can stay up to date on that and just these photos look absolutely incredible and once again i mean this this lake that kind of goes through kind of the middle portion of the park um, just looks really well done and that's one thing with insomniac's parks that are really cool is he he doesn't create traditional theme parks it's very much built around being unique being different taking real life experiences that he's gone through or places that he visited and thinks about okay how can i put this into a theme park and i'm really excited to see this one because this looks like almost a merging of his of suma beach along with um the last one which i always pronounce it right Puerto ba or pronounce it wrong, Puerto Baja, I think. I hope I said that right. <laughs> if not, I apologize, Insomniac, my bad. But look at this pool right here. With you got kind of the quad levels there, just using, I'm guessing, um, those those screens. And now you can see we're heading to a jungle themed section. And that is one thing too that I'm excited to see about here, because in his previous parks, they were um, there was one area that was really highly themed in his last one that had like the ritual ride and stuff. But other than that, it's been kind of generically themed, fun fair themed, stuff like that. And I'm really excited to see this jungle theming. Um, I can already tell from some of these photos that I'm gonna be getting some inspiration from this. So as you can see, it looks like we've got, um, we got River Rapids along with, actually there might not be a coaster in this section now that I think about it. I think it's more built around a River Rapids, but look how the terrain's just hugging the, um, the water right there it looks so good and so you can tell based off some of these the photo of those flags in another area This is probably pretty close to one of those hotels But just the the overall like the use of terrain which by the way go watch his first video on his previous series If you want to see how to really work with the terrain well because he does a great job of that um, And there you can see a hotel in the background and just this this looks awesome. You got the bridge right there Yeah, I mean, there's really, to be honest, not much else to say other than, you know, just kind of looking at the detail here. Because I don't want to go into too much in terms of what we can expect because we'll be seeing the park soon. Um, but it looks like an added waterfall there. And just this overhead view just looks, I mean, looks awesome. Like I said before, I don't know how this is fit on one map because this looks insane. And now we're coming to another section, which I believe this is right past the entrance of the park. And I think this ride is called a... Um, no, no, I was thinking of another one, never mind. Um, but there's an arcade by this park. And now I do appreciate Insomniac reaching out to me and he talked to about how I'm um, gotten a little bit, or he got a little bit of inspiration from me with doing some custom supports on some rides and stuff like that. So that part looks custom supported. So I'm really excited to kind of see how he worked those out. Um, and I love the coloring of that coaster. You know, in real life, I'm not a big fan of the color pink, but I do like, you know, coasters that kind of fit that cosmic cow kind of 
um, vibe. And you can already see there the custom walls that he used for fencing and stuff. And oh, we got a diving board, another pool area. I mean, it's not an insomniac park without some kind of crazy hotel resort, right? And then we got a gift shop, it looks like. Or is that part of the arcade? <clears throat> Excuse me, I think that's actually part of the arcade. Now that now that I look at it more detailed. And so this looks like a Gersh Slower coaster, potentially, um, with how the track design is. And then now the, here, this one is called Wormhole. And I mean, this is very sci-fi themed. So it's really cool to see the different themes that he's kind of created for this park. And they're all so different. And that is a really nice ride to just kind of fit there as a flat ride in the middle with how it elevates up. Um, and this one looks like, if it's not a boomerang coaster, it could potentially be the D, uh, Deegan, Dugan. Now I'm forgetting how to pronounce it. Um, Okay, no, it definitely maybe looks like a boomerang with how you're going up backwards. So definitely looks like a boomerang coaster. Um, but it looks very different than your traditional boomerang. So I'm really excited to kind of see how the coaster goes through the layout. And now seeing those cars, it looks like the American Arrow um, with that kind of boomerang style. But look at that. That looks awesome. How it just goes around that flat ride and just... Um, I mean, I'm just guessing based off these pictures we've seen that these are going to be some of the best sight lines that we've seen with the park, um, you know, on console or honestly, maybe even in Planet Coaster, period. So I'm really, really excited to to take a look at this. And it looks like, too, there's some supports that are kind of holding that space craft type um uh, type scenery up so that's cool too thinking about the realism aspect of it instead of just having something floating in midair you know it's got to be supported and it looks like we got some custom supports here as well and now we are heading to the final area of the park which is a Asian inspired theme and I've never really worked with this too much just because I'm kind of nervous to try to build something and not actually work out properly but it looks like this is um, an invert coaster um, or potentially, let's see, from a different view, it could be a flying coaster, but actually looking at how the, the coaster car is hugging the track there, it looks like the rival coaster with the, once again, a nice flat ride in the middle. So my guess is going to be that there's probably less rides in general in this park. He's on one of his previous parks. There was, I think he probably used almost every flat ride in the game and I'm not kidding about that. So from what we've seen, it looks like maybe one flat ride per area along with maybe one main ride just to allow you know, each flat ride is about 1%, and then plus you gotta add the pass onto that, and the, the Q pass really kill the counter. But just these views are awesome, and I don't know which area we like the most. Like, they each are so unique and different. Yeah, so it definitely looks like the rival inverted coaster. Just the views, this is insane. And what's crazy too is this has only taken Insomniac a couple months. Um, so we only got three images left, so I really appreciate you guys watching this. For those of you that stuck around, and as I said before, make sure to go check out Insomniac's channel for updates about the release of his park. And thank you so much, and if you enjoy this video, make sure to hit that like button. Make sure to hit that subscribe button, and to stay up to date with more content that we release with MJ Games. And thank you so much, and I hope you have a wonderful, wonderful rest of your day.